Hi, how are you today? This is Jerry K Popper's boat in Jerrito Visiruteando's channel. Look at this, look at this. This is La Negrita. La Negrita, it's a cantina bar since 1917. Here in 62th Street. 62 Street in, in Merida downtown, 62 Street in the corner of 49. 49. Here we are. Hi, my friends. I'm Jerry K. Poppers. In the Rito Vicinidiano channel. The Rito Vicinidiano channel. This is um, a chain that um, Merida's streets and all our country's streets, our country's streets are uh, empty yes look at this la negrita used to be a an afternoon an afternoon bar so just some uh, stores like this this is a kind of convenience store they sell uh, uh, lots of miscellaneous uh -huh, but they, they open of course but bars were closed since um I don't remember since um, Friday, March uh, 20th. Since that day, bars are closed, you know, my friends. So uh, let's continue traveling, let's continue walking this em empty and sad streets of Merida, Yucatan, of uh, Merida downtown, Yucatan. Yes, look at this. Just some uh, public transportation like buses, uh, some USB, uh, sport utility vans like those ones, and some taxis are offering uh, services. But just few, few of them. Just a few of them because. Uh, well, uh, there aren't as much as they normally uh, offer their services. Uh, look at this one, Tlahuasco, Tlahuasco Cafeteria. Look at this. They offer uh, breakfast, uh, meals, I think uh, dinner too, coffee, croissant, chilaquiles. Uh, iron breast, <laughs> uh, iron breast, pechuga la plancha, uh, breakfast combos, frappes, croissant, tlahuasco, wa special waffles, American coffee, regular, black regular, cappuccino, chilaquiles, but now uh, unfortunately they are closed, even they, they have a uh, they have their, their announcement that it says closed. So it's a chain that uh, many places here in in Merida, like restaurants, uh, uh, hotels, restaurants, uh, bars, and many many uh, places. Uh, some cafeterias, some stores. Uh, souvenirs stores, uh, shop stores, shopping stores, and um, many more are closed. So I have been walking from uh, Garcia Jimenez neighborhood uh, on uh, Colon Avenue, and it's the same. It's the same. No people. No people on the streets. Look at this because of the contingency contingency look at this just cars but most of them are cars from companies they are delivering some stuff like this one I, I, they are delivering furniture or I don't know what and others are going to supermarkets another another bar La Casita del Ceviche Unfortunately, it's closed. Yes. Well, um, as you can see, the all the 
all the uh, transportation is just uh, people that is uh, driving to their houses or to their jobs. Just few people like that guy and me that are working both for some uh, certain uh, reasons. For example, in my case, I need to go to downtown uh, in order to... Uh, I need to go to uh, San Juan's park in order to get in to get into my uh, US, uh, USB the sports utility van or the bus that is going to take me to to Calquel City to my sisters so what was the reason I I went out uh, today well as you can see as I told you I was fired from my two jobs as a waiter at Maya Pop Bar and as an English teacher at C. Poniente. Mm, well, it was unfortunately it was in the same week on March uh, on March 19th, Thursday at C. Poniente and on March 20th, Friday at Maya Pop. All well. So today I went out in order to to ask for jobs. I went to Farmacia Bazar. I went to Santo Lugo. Uh, I would like I would like to go to Home Depot. So few places are hiring people. Well, let, let's see what is going to happen. Okie dokie. There is I don't know. Here says here says Panam. Uh, maybe is the the factory of. Panam, I don't know. This is 62 and 55. Panam factory, but I don't know, it's closed. 55. Pola, uh, there it says Pola. Pola. Pola Gelato uh, is a, an ice cream store. It says Hola Cometa and Pola Gelato, so unfortunately, it's closed too. Over there is uh, Santa Lucia's Park. Is uh, as you can see, all of that uh, area is closed. They even have a a, a banner, a, a yellow banner that um, avoids the entrance for everyone to everyone. As you can see, almost 99% of uh, the stores are closed. This, uh, this one used to be a souvenirs a store, Artesanías Hats, Hats Boots de Yucatán. And look at this. I, I'm going to cross the street because this is the fabulous, the fabulous Mayan Pop. Mayan Pop. As you can see, this is the place I used to work from uh, January 24th, Friday, to Saturday, March 14. Uh, Bonsai Grill is next to next to Mayan Pop is is a restaurant of sushi. I can see that they they they're open, but just for uh, delivery. Delivery uh, you you can't. You are not allowed to 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 go into the restaurant or maybe yes no. You are not allowed to, to go to the restaurant videos for taking out or for delivery. Okay? They are hiring people. Uh, they are hiring a, a women cashier for the North Zone. But, well, uh, I, used to, <laughs> I used to work uh, next to Bonsai Grill. Uh, but that's a restaurant. Uh, maybe they. They got a, a, an agreement, maybe they got an agreement with the government and um, they open just till, I don't know, certain hour of the day and they just deliver uh, food. So you are not allowed to, to be eating there in, into, the, in, into the restaurant. As you can, say, as you can see, sorry, uh, Scar Cheve. 
all the all the restaurants that are the cantinas are closed. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I, I'm I'm approaching to one of the most famous. Um, uh, restaurants here in, in Yucatan uh, in downtown is located La Chaya Maya La Chaya, La Chaya Maya Comida Yucateca as I can see it's close to let's see the the door the entrance the entrance is blocked with a chair and there is a communicate that is saying that Dear clients and friends, we inform that uh, with the object of uh, be part of the recommendations of authorities, uh, they they close and they close their centers of uh, their restaurants during the um, uh, month of April. Uh -huh. uh, so uh, to pre uh, to prevent COVID-19. Uh -huh. And in the name of uh, their collaborators, clients, and and uh, the rest of the staff, the actions, these actions are going to help us uh, uh, to protect everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, the restaurant, restaurantes La Chaya Mai. Yes, it's a change of of restaurants. Yes. Uh, well. Uh, the hotel's restaurants. Uh, look at that hotel. That hotel is closed. That hotel is. Uh, let me see. Is um. Uh, Royal Colonial. No, Hotel Colonial. Hotel Colonial. Colonial Hotel and those buffet. Those buffet uh, breakfast. One hundred fifty-five pesos, uh, like nine dollars, for tourists, for foreigners and Americans, is a super great deal, and for a buffet, super excellent. But now, as you can see, the chairs are on the tables, and well, for, unfortunately, it's closed. Uh, Educa Guayabera, yes, all of it. I would like to, <laughs> I would like to show you this part of the street. Uh, I, I don't want to be uh, born by the sun, but well, I, I, I will I will do the sacrifice in order to show you that ho Hotel Colon Hotel Colon is closed. Amaka and Artesania Sagre are uh, is closed. Even the money exchange uh, stores are closed. Uh, Te is um, a Guayabera Resort and uh, the beer house, super great place, Germany, German place for drinking beer. This close to, unfortunately, uh, La Casta Divina, that is part of of uh, Café La Habana. I mean, it's closed. Let me cross the street because this is La Casta Divina. One of my uh, nephews. Um, friends uh, work here and I think I, I can imagine that it's closed as you can see uh, well I think it's closed the, the place in front uh, is Cafe La Habana and it's closed too they both belong to the same owner yes look at that that is the area of that is the area of the, of the car here but it's closed too. So well, it's, unfortunately, the city looks like this. Another announcement that they are uh, they close due to the contingency. Well, I need to work. No, uh, yes, I need to work over the. Uh, I need. I need to turn uh, to turn left here. Uh, Goodbye to 62 Street, High uh, 59 Street, because I'm going to take a, a bus.
or uh, USB. I'm going to. I changed my mind. I, I, I'm not. Uh, I'm. I'm not going to Tokyo right now. I'm going to my Japan. I'm going to visit my 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 church, Church of God, World, World Mission Society. I'm going to visit Zion. I'm going to visit. Uh, I'm going to uh, keep worship. Tuesdays worship the third day of the of the week. Because on Saturday is Passover, no, sorry, uh, on Saturday is Sabbath worship. Uh, the, the seventh day of the week worship, or today is uh, today. Today is the third day of the week uh, worship, and I'm going to keep that uh, that worship with my with my brothers and my sister Daya Alma and my brothers Alejandro. Brother Alejandro, brother René, brother Manuel. Well, as you can see, all of it is um, close. Exquisito siempre, servir y convivir. Breakfast, complete breakfast, uh, since 89 pesos. Los Trompos, Mexican restaurant, is closed. <laughs> Burger King, is closed. All of these restaurants are closed. Okay, well, mm, I'm going to say bye bye. Bye, my friends. Uh, there are strips uh, closing. There are, these are some strips of parks here in this beautiful city, Merida, Yucatan. La Parrilla is closed too. La Parrilla. Electra is a, a, depart, uh, a department store is uh, partially open as you can see th there are two sales clerks um, out of the store so but it's partially it's partially op uh, open as you can see this, this these stripes are are blocking the path of the of the park uh -huh. police officers are uh, in their motorbikes, uh, special special transportation. Uh, they are keeping uh, security and safe here in Merida. Uh, well, uh, most of the downtown. Imagine most of the downtown uh, that, that is the most uh, crowded, one of the most crowded parts of the city is almost empty with empty streets. Uh, it's a shame. Imagine other regions, imagine Cauquel, uh, neighborhood pensiones, uh, Yucalpetén, or at the north, the Monte de Ame, Monte Cristo, San Ramon. All of all of those neighborhoods are completely uh, isolated. So uh, because of COVID, COVID-19. Well, with the this is uh, Museo de la Canción, the, the Songs Museum. This is a, a new place. Um, I'm going to I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to say goodbye from this video. Uh, uh, but before, I'm going to show you the, uh, a, a little bit of this beautiful uh, construction. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is um this is one of the announcement is the is Palacio de la Musica uh -huh. is Centro Nacional de la Musica Mexicana so in the area in the area number one a, uh, in the area a, a, area is the string imperio a string garden uh -huh. in B it says interactive museum concerts concert hall a strings courtyard Interactive Museum, Concert Hall, Terrace, Gallery, Cafe, Music and Sound Library, General Management Office, Offices, Meeting Room, and uh, Multiple Purpose Room. So it's, they are all the facilities this uh, fabulous building has. Okay? Oh! It used to be the, the the congress of the of the state. 
el Congreso de, del Estado, uh, something like that, the Congress, the, the States Congress. But now, look at it. Now, it, uh, it's a super beautiful construction. It's a super beautiful building. This, I, I, I feel here like in the uh, Roman Coliseum. Gladiator! We salute you, those who are going to die. We salute you. Ha 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 ha. I'm crazy. <laughs> so this is the. This, are, this is the entrance, elevators. But as you can see, it's closed. M museums, concert halls, movie theaters, uh, actually are are closed. Maybe just administrative things. As you can see, there is a guy there, but maybe just for giving information. This, this, uh, uh, he was put there uh, in order to give uh, information to the public. Well, this is a great place. I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, Jerry K. Poppers, I love you. Um, I'm giving a collaboration to Gerrito Visirutiando's channel, okay? So, I'm going to escape from here in one of their corridors. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, give me likes, and recommend my channel.